Clemson heading to Louisville, 7 p.m. or 7:30 p.m. Eastern Time. Louisville, a four-point underdog at home, 46 and a half. Clemson has won and covered in four straight against Louisville. DJ last week, DJ Uyangalele had his second highest QBR of the season last week against Florida State. It looked like the offense, you know, they're starting to get guys back healthy again. They they looked okay. They looked okay. Like they would not have covered if it was not for that last uh, little bit there, but Louisville showed against NC State like what can happen to Malik Cunningham when he plays against a good defense, and they just kind of put him in a box, and that's what I expect Clemson to be able to do here. I, I'm going to take Clemson minus the four. Aside from last week, they have not covered a single game all season. I I think they are kind of getting the ship righted just a touch, uh, just enough to be able to to cover this four points against Louisville this week. I don't care what stats say. I watched every second of that game last night, uh, last weekend of them against Florida State. Their offense did not look good. Their offense did not get back on track. Uyunglele still looked like shit. Everything came very, very hard to them. Everything. So I'll take, take the points. Yeah, you're taking Louisville, right? Louisville plus four. Yeah, I could see this being a field goal game either way. I, I think I think Louisville could be in trouble against that defense. That's, that's the only reason I think that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.